So I have already done my eyebrows and highlighted them with concealer. So I'm going to get started on my eyes first. Mix jumbo eye pencil just on the top part of my lid and then I'm going to go ahead and use a different color. I'm going to go ahead and take a just a flat shader brush and a blender brush. This came in with the Naked 3 palette. It's one of my favorite brushes to use for blending bases on the eye. And I just use both sides of the brush. I'll use a flat shader side just for the product to look more opaque. And I'm just going to use this above the crease because I'm going to apply a lighter color there towards the end of the eye look. I'm going to go ahead and take the blender side of the brush and just kind of blend that out. I'll go ahead and just blend it towards the brow bone. Have some highlight there. I'm going to go ahead and take my Z palette that I've created myself and I'm going to use this eyeshadow right here. Peach smoothie. And I just want to apply that to the brow bone. Just to set. It's barely going to be noticeable. Okay, next I'm going to use Grease Paint Stick. And I've had this for a pretty long time. This is called French Quarter. I think this came out with one of those limited edition collections. Oh, um, I don't know if they still have these grease paints or not. I would have to check. But I'm just going to use it for a base on the lid. And this is basically just black with hints of shimmer in it, a little bit of green tones. And if you don't have something like this, you can definitely take like a MAC fluid line, black track fluid line, or whatever gel liner you have and use that as a base. And you'll get just about the same look. I'm gonna hold my eyelid just down so I can kind of press. And I'm just gonna follow the shape of my eye. like that for the black base and then I'm just going to take a flat synthetic brush and kind of fix it up a bit and just following the shape of my eye And I'm bringing it a little bit above my, my crease, a little bit, since I don't have a lot of lid space. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create kind of like a gradient of greens, kind of like a camouflage on my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with, this is my vice palette from Urban Decay and there's one shadow in here that really caught my attention I'm still playing around with this colorful palette bar and it's a really nice like olive shimmery green just use my fingers I love applying like just shimmery colors on the lid I feel like sometimes it just does it way better than a brush so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my middle finger and just press that in the middle of the lid. And I'm not flipping you guys off if I am using my little finger. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pop that on the middle of my lid. Uh, like really pretty already. And I'm gonna take my Manly eyeshadow palette and this is in 120 colors. BH Cosmetics has very similar one. I don't know if they attach their name to it, but um, I got this one off of eBay a long time ago. 
and it's very inexpensive and you get a whole bunch of colors so this is a palette that comes with a whole bunch of colors exactly had this like forever and then the other sides like more purples and other colors but I'm gonna focus on the green and I'm gonna go for these greens I know that the Vice 4 palette has some green tones but they're so shimmery I'm not going for that color neon green color on the lid and it's gonna look just more toned down on the black so I'm gonna take a small really detailed blending type of brush by Morphe this is the M507 I'm gonna apply it in the inner corner and blend it towards that middle green color and apply some more so it's really nice because it's giving it a forest green shade instead of a really highlighted green on that black base really makes a difference using um, bases for your eyeshadow wipe that brush clean and then i'm going to pick out another color and use that on the outer corner of the eye and i am going to go ahead and use just a deeper green so it was right here i'm going down one and this color right here. more just uh like a friendly like a friendly green i'm gonna apply that on the outer corner of the eye kind of towards the outer v of the eye just i think this is the first time in a long time that i've done a tutorial that i don't have any foundation on because i know there's going to be just a ton of fallout so i'm trying to do it this way usually it freaks me out like crazy but i found out that i feel more comfortable doing my eyeshadow if i do my eyebrows first and then i feel like I don't know, like the look is more together when my eyebrows are done than if they weren't. Then I feel like I just look crazy. But this is working for me, let's see. Okay, then I just want to add in a color to just kind of blend all three together on the top of where the crease is. And I'm going to go ahead and take the only brown shade in this whole palette all right here. I am taking my MAC 242 synthetic flat brush and I'm taking that brown shade and I am just going to define my crease and fix it a little bit more with that brown. make it more, I'm, I'm just making it more round looking and fixing the crease. So the shader brush is gonna help better than a blending brush right now because of that base, the shadows kind of creamy. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend around. I mean, it's starting to look like a halo eye, which is exactly what I would want. Okay, I'm gonna clean that brush again and I'm gonna take my last color on the eyes and then I'm gonna take this color and this is a Makeup Geek eyeshadow and this one is called Preppy. And it just reminds me kind of like a camel type of tone. I'm gonna go ahead and add this as a transition. Kind of bringing it towards the inner corner, blending that out. And I also wanna put it on the outer V of the eye to kind of just hug this shadow up completely like all over the eye and just fading it out. I followed the shape of my eye so the transition in the crease kind of look dirty muddy and then green this grungy army-ish whatever you want to call it. This Mr. Right Now eyeliner pencil 
eyeliner pencil by The Bomb. And this kind of goes in the olive, also olive tones. And I'm just going to open up the eye on my lower lash line and set this. I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil brush. This is by Wayne Goss and this is the 05 pencil brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the green color that I used on the outer corner of the eye. And I'm just going to go over the lash line, the, lash, the lower lash line in green. Okay, and that's basically it with the eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my House of Lashes in Bambi. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the NYX liquid liner just to cover up the band. Okay, I'm gonna apply some Makeup Forever. Smoky Extravagant to the lashes. Let me tell you, I was looking for my lash and I had to open up a new pack and it was on my hand, like, the whole time. Just stuck. I just took it off. It was crazy. Finally, I want to do a liquid lipstick, so I'm going to use Candy K by Kylie Cosmetics. Okay, and that is the lip.